here's a look. Only two groups in the country fly airplanes into the middle of a hurricane's eye to gather invaluable information that can't be found anywhere else. NOAA and the Air Force based right here in Biloxi, Mississippi. We wanted to go up with them to get a closer look at how they gather this life-saving information. Within the moniker Hurricane Hunters is a passion that can only be understood through perspective. Yeah, fire it up. One with an eagle eye view. It's 2.30 in the morning at Keesler Air Force Base as we're ushered towards the WC-130J, a combat plane outfitted to intercept Hurricane Dorian. It's more than a two-hour flight to get to the eye, so things start slow. Drop zones, the instruments that will measure Dorian, are tested, and it gives us an opportunity to talk with Casey Densmore. He is the only member of the U.S. Navy aboard the jet. At 23, Casey has made 68 hurricane eye interceptions. Today, he'll be dropping sauna buoys into the ocean to measure temperature. Dorian's source of power. About 20 minutes from the eye and the first sauna buoy is dropped. That allows us to head to the cockpit as we get ready to make our first interception. Well, what you're looking for in general is the center location of pressure. And, uh, Major Ben Blair is one of three pilots that will lead us through to this. The turbulence through the eye isn't too bad. You can see the sky, the clouds, and you can't help but think how something so destructive on the ground can be so serene in the sky. Today, so I flew a storm a couple days ago when it was a lot more intense, a lot rougher ride. Today it was a lot smoother. We saw it kind of, uh, the storm start to wind down a little bit. In total, we make four eye wall penetrations, each one coming from a different vector, as the crew tries to locate the center of Dorian. By plotting that, they can understand the hurricane's track. On this day, that means 10 hours in the sky. Before we head back to Mississippi, and the next crew gets ready to intercept Dorian once the call from the hurricane center comes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a cool feeling knowing that we're, we're part of that puzzle and uh, getting all the data to to the folks who need to know. I can tell you from being up there with them, seeing the pride they take in their work is really something to witness. Coming up later tonight on NBC6 at 11, get a closer look as we talk to a pilot and what drives his passion in the sky. Reporting